Happy Halloween. Ooh, Dads of Eerie. This is episode 19. And this is RJ and Jay. That's right. We are the Dads of Eerie. You can catch us on Instagram, Dads of Eerie, or email us, dadsofeerie at gmail.com. What's up, our podcaster friends? What up? I hope everyone had a safe and fun Halloween. Uh, Your kid is pounding the candy. Oh, yes, he is. There's a lot of candy being consumed right now. We're hopefully you're enjoying your commute on this Thursday morning, first of November. Yeah, if you're fresh in your podcast feed right away, hopefully. How's your PSL this morning? <laughs> Do PSLs go out of season at some point? Like, oh yeah, the- that's like really soon, actually. Really? And then Christmas cups are in, right. which is always controversial, right? Christmas cups. Yes. But they're not Christmas cups. They're holiday cups. They're whatever. holiday cups. Which causes all kinds of drama. You know what the coolest thing is I saw this week? What? Legos makes an advent calendar. Yeah, and you get like a piece each day. How cool is that? That is kind of cool. Man, when was that? Like, we had like the, this is like, you know. The peel open the little, and there's like a little chocolate inside maybe. Maybe. Or just the like little trap door. You know, my mom had the Kenny G on and like we listened to like. Did Advent wreath type stuff because we were Catholic. At so that we're point already talking about Christmas at this point. Is that what oh, we're jumping to that right now? No, man, we got big news, and I'm gonna intro it by this. It's gonna be so good. That's right. Hey, we told you, episode 19, big announcement. Here it is: the Dads of Erie, in conjunction with Calvary Bible Church, we're renting out an entire movie theater for dudes. Opening night or opening day. Opening day. Opening day. Friday. Of Star Wars. How cool the is Last that? Jedi. Like, mind blown, John David. I know. Mind blown, Tim. We told you, John David and Tim. We, we told you it was coming. Your dream has come true. That's why Darth Vader's here. He's joining us this in week. Studio. Hello, just, Darth. Just the head. Hello, hello. <laughs> December fifteenth. <laughs> December fifteenth at six thirty. We want the dads of Erie. The men of Erie to That's join right. us. Yep. So tickets go on sale next Sunday at noon. We'll make sure a link is posted to our Instagram. That is the tenth. That wait, like that is the twelfth of November. Twelfth of November. Check our Instagram for a link. Dads of Erie on Instagram. We're gonna have really cool giveaways that night. Sign up quick. Um, I don't know what tickets are gonna cost. If we kind of decide that yet. Yeah. Uh, the, Details to come next week. Details to come. So listen to episode 20 for more details, but get excited because December 15th, 6 p.m. We want to hang out with you. Dad's of Erie and Calvary Bible Church will run out of movie theater to watch Star Wars with you guys. With you. And maybe we'll even podcast from the theater. Whoa! Episode live recorded. <laughs> Q&A or something with the, with the audience. Mind blown. I know. Mind blown. Hey, in fact, let's talk about Halloween real quick. Let's talk let's about Halloween. Back. We had some special friends make some special T-shirts for us tonight. We did. If you haven't seen our Instagram, check it out. Our good buddy Tim, who we shout out at like every episode and now, his apparently. his lovely wife. And his lovely wife, Michelle. They made their outfit tonight was number one, number two fan. Wow. Yep. I felt loved. I did. I, I was surprised when I answered the door. I said, that's the best Halloween costume I've ever seen. <laughs> And then a little tear came in my eye, just like when I see a puppy. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> all right so you've been talking about it all week you've been asking us are you gonna have a Lacroix episode and here it is oh gosh yes i mean come on let's talk about Lacroix. they're flavored the, water they are the eerie drink of drinks right now i realized that because i had to buy some <laughs> recently and there like are, a couple of cases i yeah, saw i know last, well you brought in from the garage tonight uh, you know yeah. Uh, so, my friend, these things are, like, so hot that they're beyond PSLs. It is true, and I see them everywhere now. Like, oh, it's yeah. amazing how prevalent they are. The only place I haven't seen them yet is, like, in a restaurant in the fountain itself. Yeah, I wonder how they could do that. I mean... It's just flavored waters. Yeah. Comes out I of the guess. same thing. Yeah, just... They have that like, La Perrier there, and those sometimes, La whatever, Perrier. whatever, whatever it La is. Perrier. La Perrier, whatever. <laughs> That's how Texans say it. La Perrier. La Perrier oh. with some of them crescent rolls. Yeah. 
give me, give me a, a quesadilla. Give me a pecan pie and hold the jalapenos. <laughs> yeah. well, anyway, LaCroix. Now, we I'm a big fan now. I, I've got to admit, since I've been off the sugar doing sugar whole thirty paleo, yeah. you know, they've become a treat. How sad it is, is true because it is it is one of the few sodas, quote unquote, or canned beverages that you can do on the paleo and the yeah. whole thirty and all those and all the keto and all whatever. But the thing is, is like it it still gives you the impression of that like you're, a soda of something special. Yeah, but then you know it's really it's not. All, yeah. yeah. But okay, what's your favorite flavor? Have you had any flavors? I hate all of them. I'm not really? gonna lie. I cannot do. It's just not. You haven't had one that you like yet. No. Yeah, it's. I'm just man, not into it. I can't do it. Okay. I don't know. Man, lime is my favorite. We want to hear from you, Dads of Erie fans. What is your favorite Lacroix? Lacroix. 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 Which you cannot spell on your iPhone, by the way. Because it wants to correct it, which oh. is funny because it's an island in the Caribbean, so yeah. it's a real thing. It's not like oh it's really? Made of, yeah, you looked it up. No, my wife's been there. What? Yeah. There, so is Lacroix made in Lacroix? I don't think so. Oh. There's also Lacroix uh, fishing lures. Yes, I think there's a company that makes fishing lures. It's called Lacroix too. Well, we just got off topic here a little bit, but lime well, is my to get favorite. Away from Lacroix, lemon it's gross. Lemon is good. Lemon's Those good. are my standards. What was the one you had tonight? That I grabbed. The like raspberry, cranberry something. Was it good? Yeah, it's not bad. No. There there hasn't been a very coconut, it's my least favorite. I could I, I you know, I was one of those things like I think I was at Costco one time and they were doing coconut water, and coconut yeah. water is such a thing. I was like, I'm gonna try it. And I was <laughs> like, <"Ugh!" laughs> like it was just like, so uh, <laughs> I was like, I don't I didn't know that was what coconut water tasted like. It was just so bad. I'm like It's how, so bad it must be healthy for I'm, me. I'm like, how are people drinking this like a normal beverage? Yeah, it's bad. Okay. We were out of the game this Friday night for the that last home game for the Erie Tigers. Yep. Man, the score ended the score is forty two to twenty eight Mead. And it doesn't do justice to the game if yeah. you just hear that score because Erie put up a heck of a fight through yeah. the first three quarters. Oh, heck of a fight. And the fourth quarter just kind of got off the rails a little bit. and Yeah, and in fact, it got off the rails in the last two minutes because Meade came up a touchdown. Meade came up a touchdown. They kicked off. They kicked what it. What happened next? It went out of bounds before anybody could touch it, so they got a flag on the play. They're on the 40 now. They're on the 40 now, but the Erie coach declined the penalty. The Erie coach declines the penalty. Oh, which I'm he's going to be I know. He's gonna be regretting that decision. Yeah. Because... So they Mead kicks again, but they pooch it. But they onside kick it, and it nails one of the eerie dudes in the chest, and I he mean, can't even react to it. <laughs> it was literally goes Doof, and just like oh, and you get yeah, and then it, was, it bounces off of him right into the hands of Mead. Yards so back. now Mead has the ball again. It was like oh, and they gosh. score, they and score then again, kick and then, off, and then kick off. Eerie gets it, interception, and then Eerie gives him an interception, and and at that point. It's over. It's over. So. And, like, that all happened within, like, two minutes of the fourth quarter. Yeah. But, I mean, it's been a great season out there. What's the most impressive thing about Erie football to you this year? Dude, um, what's his name? The Number eight. Oh, the running back? What is his name? Yeah, I know. Noah. Um, no, Noah something. Yep. Noah something. He Dude. is incredible. He's a monster. Watch. He is a monster on the field. Yep. When he gets going on a run, he can just go. He can go. When he turns it on, he, he just wheels up and is just gone. He's a beast among little fawns in the forest. Well, and he's not a super huge dude. That's what I was impressed with too. Yeah. He's not. I mean, he's a decent size guy, but he, he's not. He's not the six foot two. You know, two fifty. And he has this awesome spin move. Oh man, he broke so many tackles the other night. Yeah, how many tackles did he break? Like people were. There was like to a couple him. times. It was like okay, one, two, three. Uh, you couldn't even keep track. How yeah. Many, the most impressive thing was his third third quarter touchdown. He's at like the one yard line, two yard line. He he gets the ball, runs oh, in. The defender no. is at the goal line, tack, tries to tackle him, gets blown up. And you just see the defender fly back about five yards. And in he's the just end standing. Zone. He's in just there. like, like that kid just was in his way. You yeah, know, it was like, like it was like it was like the, it was like the Kool Aid Man punching <laughs> through a wall. He's just like, oh yeah, <laughs> it was pretty nice. Yeah, no. You know what? The playoffs are just right around the corner. They'll be out on Saturday morning of this week. Yeah. And I can't wait to see the playoffs. We'll have a home game. 
I sure hope so. We've yeah. got to have at least one. I would one think we game. have to, yeah. Unless the rankings, I mean, we got Frederick on fr- Friday night, so that, that we need to win that game. Could be a yeah, it could be a defining one. But we we definitely will have a home game. Yeah. We'll, Lord willing. Absolutely. Okay. The next thing we need to talk about is baseball and World Series. Which we are if you're if you're watching the video on YouTube, which by the way, if you're not subscribed to us on YouTube, you need to get there. You need to check us out. But we're watching it on an iPad over here. So if our eyes keep darting to the left, to our left. It's, that's why because it's we're, game six. It's game six. Houston's that, Houston could win it tonight, but Dodgers are coming up now. So we'll yeah, see. In the six, the Dodgers have just taken the lead. Yeah. Which game five, did you watch game five? I watched part of it and then I I like turned it off and then all of a sudden I was like Midnight. Wait, what happened? Yeah. Yeah, midnight was epic. And I've got to confess, I've been an Astros fan since birth. And we were talking about this with one of our friends the other day. Baseball might be the only sport now in America where you can have four generations of fans. Really? Maybe five. Because it's 125 years old. True. And the, the teams have been a little more stable than some of the NFL teams. Right. And, like, the NFL's, you know, like... Your grandparents might have watched the NFL. Your dad's probably really watched the NFL. Yeah. And we're, like, really consuming NFL. That's true. But baseball's been going for quite it's a while. It's been that way. Yeah, that's true. And, like, here's the thing. Like, my, my granddad was an Astros fan all his life and never saw them win a World Series. And in my lifetime, I'm getting to watch them in the World Series winning games. It's sort of mind-boggling to me. It is. Yeah. That It's a sport that can transcend. It's like soccer in Europe is that way, too. Yeah, those those teams. They're 120, yeah, those 150 teams, years yeah, old. Yeah, that's true. It's just a unique. Yeah, those sport. clubs have been there since you know the beginning of the sport or whatever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Does baseball have problems with how many games it has? Yes. Yes. It gets a little monotonous. Yeah. We all know. And that. even the World Series at seven games, it's kind of like okay, we well, get it. it's traditional <laughs> seven yeah, games. I, I get that, but it is one of the sports that has outlasted generations. Absolutely. All right. Okay. The next segment we need to talk about is man books we talked about man movies fall man movies which we found out that your first and only love in man movies for the fall is red dawn that's really my first and only love in movies in general which john david texted me this week and said what about star wars a fall movie it's not really a fall movie now it's become a christmas movie because they get released at christmas yeah but although the net the last one will be released may oh this may no this next one will be December, but then the 2019, which would be episode nine, yeah, is scheduled for May. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, they're moving them to May for whatever reason. Well, he said, "What about Star Wars?" And we love Star Wars, obviously. I just don't. There's something about a certain movie that reminds you of the fall, right? And it's a lot of times it's the setting of the movie or whatever that does that, and like Red Dawn does it for me because it's literally set in like football season, mm-hmm. like that's the kind of the opening scene to the to the yep, movie. Okay. So, it's there. Yeah, we uh, we get but it. But I, we're, Star Wars is a good movie. I mean, obviously, we're gonna rent out a whole theater for Star Wars. So, uh, hello. We're yes. not like you know, we're not distant Star Wars. We love Star Wars. It's but, an epic. Yeah. But okay, man books. We need to talk about man books. Fall man books or just man books? In well, general? I we if you want to stay in the theme of fall, even the hatchet happens sort of late summer, early fall. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. He, he has to survive the winter eventually. Yeah. yeah. Which, that is a great man book. That is a really good man book. We both read it, both love it to death. In fact, the older copies are way cooler because the covers are pretty awesome. I know, that old, like, kind of retro, color yeah. yeah. But we're we're talking about fall man books. What is another good fall man book? I know you... Hunt for Red October. Oh. Have you ever read it? No. I've seen... The movie's so good. The movie's so good, the book is so good. Really? Any Tom Clancy stuff is good. Hunt for the Red October. That I, that might have to be in my new list. And that's mostly because of the name. Yeah. Right. That gives it away, <laughs> that right? That gives it away. It's a fall movie. <laughs> it's a fall movie. Yeah. Um, what about like Born Identity? That happens sort of in the fall before Christmas, too. Yeah, that's a good one. Those are good books, by the way. Yeah. They're the Born really... books are good. I tried to I tried to read the old Bond books. Really? They're they're okay. The actual Ian Fleming novels that yeah. was based off that. It's, they're okay. Wow. All right. But, okay, we're going to talk about Hatchet. What's your favorite part about Hatchet? What's my favorite part? The Hatchet? No. <laughs> Whatever. The, I don't know. It's the whole It's the whole book because it's like it's it's like survival and camping and outdoors. And yeah. I love when he figures out he can start the fire, though. Like the, That's That moment cool. of triumph in, yeah. that, in that chapter, you're just like, 
That's good. Yeah, after suffering for a couple of days with <laughs> yeah, some bad freezing. Cold, yeah, and, uh, what are, he gets like a rash or something like I think so, ants yeah, or something like yeah. that. Yeah, that's a. You know, my favorite part about that is, is it's of course is an epic man versus nature type book. Yeah, but it's a kid who figures out his baggage while he's doing it. Yep. True. And like, I mean, that's every man's journey, right? Yeah. Going out into the woods and figuring it out. Yeah. Like figuring out, out how to be a man. Yeah. In fact, when's the last time, you know, we've heard a 13-year-old getting taken out into the woods and dropped off to figure out how to be a man? Never. Yeah. yeah. He'd be arrested now. You would be arrested. That's child abuse. But I think Hatches is a great book. My other favorite part I thought of was when he dives down and finds the supplies in the plane. Whoa. Because that's yeah. a pretty intense chapter because they're is. like, is he going to make it? Like, Yeah. Totally. That's pretty good. I know. The, the, it's just a, the, the most pointless part of that book, though. He doesn't turn the ra- turn the plane around. I know. It's, have flying. you seen the YouTube channel How It Should Have Ended? They take like popular movies and they're like, at this point in the movie, they could have ended the movie because they could have done, you know, X, Y, and Z. Yeah, and just been done. And it's like I feel that way about Hatchet. Like it, how it should have ended. It should have been pilot has a heart attack. Kid goes, okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Man, yeah, that's funny. All right. Well, any park reviews? Anything we 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 need to we talk could talk about? about? We should talk about the one inside the rec center because we were there. The oh other day. yeah, that's a good one. Because it was fall. a good one during the fall when it was a little colder. It was starting to snow. Right. I put we, it up on our Instagram story if you guys. didn't We were see trying it. to go swim. But we're trying to go swimming and Jay we didn't, didn't. We failed to check yeah. the uh, swim schedule because there are times where the pool is reserved for swim lessons or other activities. Especially in the fall. Especially in the fall. So. Always check that, but the park inside the rec center is pretty decent. I mean, it's it's kind of yeah. an indoor play place. It's you know like a, it's it's above average. It's a it's a little bit bigger than like a McDonald's or yeah. a Chick Fil A or whatever, but it's decent. What? Well, how many minivans out of five would you give that indoor park? Like three and a half. Okay, yeah. That's pretty generous. It's it's decent. Yeah, it is. Decent. If you're if you're de- if you're in need of something to do with the kids, you have the library right there too, so you can yeah. go check out some books and then go let them play and. Yeah, and be know. out of the wind or rain or, yeah, snow, or snow, whatever, or whatever. It, that season yeah. is. Yeah, no, I would agree with you. It's a, it's fairly clean. Yeah, There's they do a good job cleaning it. It's, it's temp, you know, it's indoors, so it's temperature controlled. There's bathrooms right right yeah. there. It's kind of got all of it you really need. Does it ever gross you out when we watch watch your kids play in these indoor play places? Not as bad as it, I know it does you. Not yeah. as bad because I've watched you and you like literally are squirming in oh your my, skin. Like, oh, Ugh. I don't. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's just but germs everywhere. I, I yeah, when they like are licking things or whatever, <laughs> I'm like, oh, don't. Just, or like no. laying on the floor, laying on the, the floor like, wall, oh. and you're like, come on, like don't oh, do that. Gross. It's gross. This is a lot of DNA up in that place. There is, yeah. <laughs> a lot of hand sanitizers necessary after some of those. Yeah, you think hand sanitizer cuts it, or do you really? I mean, I, I think it does. I think washing hands has to happen. I think places. it's about the same, really. Really? Yeah. It makes me feel better when I see, like, clean water rushing That's over their true. hands. That's true. A little germ. It's magnets. funny, though, because I feel like you don't have that same germophobia when it's, when it's like, an outdoor park. Right. No germophobia, like, even when I'm working out, either. It's literally just be- when it's, like, indoor play area. Incubation where kids- play area. Which I get, I guess, that's <laughs> probably the other side of it is that there's no there's no rain to wash it away eventually. There's no, you know. If no not- sunlight to UV rays to help kill off some bacteria. Yeah. Yeah, if they're not if they're not in there cleaning it good, you, you're kind of. And, like, honestly, how, when's the last time you saw a McDonald's employee walk into the play area and actually clean it out? Yeah, never. When I mean, I haven't even seen that Chick-fil-A. Let's be honest. I have a Chick-fil-A. You have you seen a kid in there? Cleaning? Yeah, there's a certain time of day when they do it. I want to say it's like three. Oh, and I happened to be there one time, and they were doing it. And All they right. really go to town on that. I, I'm. It's like everything with Chick Fil A, right? They do such a good job at everything that even that is decent, much more impressive than you know a McDonald's or whatever. Um, let's talk about what we did on Friday on our little mandate. Oh yeah, or so Saturday. Or Saturday when we had the boys. Yeah, because you had a baby shower. We had a baby shower for my wife, and your wife was there with your daughter, and my water, my wife and daughter were there. All our friends were there. We the took our boys up to Shields. Yeah, but we stopped at a new donut place too. Daylight on fifty two. Yeah, towards it's in it's Frederick in Decono. Decono. Yeah. yeah, I I wasn't impressed with it. It was okay. It was kind of a local joint, you know. 
donut shop, nothing too special or fancy. Right. Uh, 144 is still my favorite daylight. I think there. that's a pretty unique daylight, though. Yeah. It's I a pretty mean, unique local donut shop compared to most. Right. But, like, 144 like, is my gold standard now for donut shops. I don't blame you there. Yeah, it's a good one. But 52, friendly folks, they, they were very courteous. Definitely a local j- joint, though. Yeah, very, yeah, definitely a local We joint. were the only ones that didn't know their names or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But we went up to Shields, which was a blast. Yeah, if you guys haven't been up to Shields up in Johnstown, it's a brand new giant sporting goods store. I don't know if we, have we talked about it before because I went up there previously. Yeah, we talked a little bit about it. Yeah, they have like it's an, an indoor, they have an indoor, story. indoor Ferris wheel, Ferris wheel some bunch of games and yeah. stuff. It's a lot of fun. You know, if you're a, if you're a dad looking for dad equipment, it's probably not. You need to go more to a specialty store. Yeah, but if you're a kid, you're looking for like a wide range of kid. Um, sports equipment sports equipment they have every age and clothing too yeah it's impressive i was pretty impressed with their stock i feel like their prices are kind of meh right like they're my, fine my but boy, they're nothing special my boy loves baseball and he is two and a half and even in two and a half he was able to find like a glove a, that f- a giant section of gloves yeah, for him. that would even fit him yeah how cool is that though? and they had the left and the right yeah no, it's definitely cool. I, yeah, I would check it out if you guys haven't been up there already. Don't yeah. go on a Saturday, though. Whew, that yeah, was don't. Crazy. That was a bad idea. Yeah. Go during the weekday. Yeah. I bet it's a lot quieter on the weekday. It was. I think we went on a weekday the first time. Okay. Because it was like a Friday, you know. Yeah, like even like a midweek day would be yeah, probably even be quieter. Better. But they have a cafe in there. Have you eaten at the cafe? I had fudge oh, from okay. the cafe. It was good. No, it's a good, it's a good trip with your kiddos. Yeah, it's a good one. It's another one of those ones. Keep it in your pocket for when the snow starts coming. Yeah, and you need something to do for the afternoon or whatever. Yep, and you need to get out of the snow and I go w- play. I would give it four out of five minivans. By the way, yeah, I would too. It's a, such a fun place. It is, yeah, and it has everything you need because it's and, got food and whatever. You know, if you got desperate, and it's a little more fun than actually Bass Pro Shop. I think so too. Yeah. So, I mean, Cabela's is so close, and we hit that up all the time. We do, yeah, because it's convenient. But, yeah, that's convenient and close. But Shields was very impressive. It is very impressive, yeah. Okay, well, thanks for hanging out with us this week on episode 19. We didn't even say episode 19. I thought I did. Oh. I think I Maybe. Did. Um, check out our YouTube. We're Dad Zaviri on YouTube. Instagram, Dad Zaviri. And email is dadzaviri at gmail.com. And look for Star Wars info to come out. Yeah, what day what did you say next Sunday? Next Sunday, the, the 12th. 12th at noon. The 12th at noon. We'll make sure the link is up on our Instagram. Yep. You guys rock. You gals rock. Thanks for listening. You eerieites. Make sure you That's subscribe so cool. on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe on iTunes. Give us a like on both. Give us a review. And we're out. Baseball. Go Astros. Go Astros. It's your birthday. Go Astros.